old man. How is it that you hear these things? Young man, how is it that you do not? Greetings, my young Padawans. Today, we're going to learn how to breathe. Now, I know you think you know how to breathe. After all, you've been doing it all, your whole life. Hopefully, you're breathing now while you're watching me. If you're not, gee, how is that working out? But I am going to teach you the correct way to breathe because there is a correct way and you cannot truly be a Fandai master without knowing the correct way to breathe. So, the first thing is, find yourself a comfortable spot on the floor, as I have done here. Uh, it's really good if you can have, like, an exercise mat, but if you don't, anything that's reasonably comfortable, you want to be comfortable. Next, you want to try to relax some. Unfortunately, relaxing is somewhat out of what I can talk about here today, but try to be as relaxed as possible. Now, when you lay on the floor, Lay with your palms up. And while we're doing this, don't close your eyes, because closing your eyes takes you out of the moment. And we want to keep you in the moment, so that's why you keep your eyes open. Now, the first thing to remember is we are going to breathe in through our nose and out through our mouths. So let me just show you how this works. We're going to breathe in through my nose. Let me get my air out of my lungs. I'm going to breathe in through my nose. Hold it to the top and then breathe out. Then hold it at the bottom and breathe in. Hold it to the top and breathe out. Once again, I'm going to breathe in through my nose. And breathe out through my mouth. Now it's relatively simple from that perspective. You can also, and I do, because when I'm warming up for my show, I do this all the time, you can feel free to vocalize, and sometimes that will cause your breath to go slower. Now, slower is a good thing, because you can use this technique in many different ways, particularly when you're under stress or in pain. This will help you manage both your stress and your pain. Breathing really is key to everything, and unfortunately, I can't explain it to you, because to do so, you would have to have years of experience and kind of understand it. It is something you understand rather than actually being told. And so in terms of vocalizing, if you want to do that while you're breathing, you can do it like this. And again, I'm going to use this hand to show you how I'm doing this, but you should be resting with your palms up on the ground. And you'll notice here, too, that I have my legs bent. That's perfectly fine for this kind of breathing exercise. So if I were going to vocalize, let me get out the air in my lungs. Breathe in through your nose. Ah. 
and you'll notice that significantly changed the amount of time it takes for me to exhale because it slows down the process by doing virtue of going up through your mouth and out through your vocal cords and all that. So, again, this technique is relatively simple, but it does take a certain level of practice in order to get it down. I have been doing it so long that it's now part of my sort of autonomic function. But what you'll find, you may not be able to do breathing at the speed that I do because I have a severe amount of control over my breath. But what you really want to be able to do is to slow it. You want to slow down the amount that you're breathing out, slow down how long it takes to breathe it in, and don't breathe from your chest. You may notice that when I'm breathing, it's all down here, which is where it should be. Up here is not where you should be breathing from. You should be breathing from down here. Let me put my hand on my stomach so I can show you. Let the air out of my lungs here. So you can see all my breathing is happening down here and not up here. In point of fact, when we get into this a little deeper later on in other lessons, I will talk to you about breathing from your center. Now, usually for most people, that's about here, several inches above the groin area. For me, my center is right here. Now, in terms of doing this, well, you need to do it all the time. It's going to require a lot of conscious effort at first, but I think you will find that when it comes to later episodes that we're going to do on Becoming a Fan Dime Master, that you're going to discover that these types of breathing techniques are very, very helpful. So again, on the ground, as relaxed as you can be, hands palms up rather than palms down, palms up. Keep your eyes open to keep yourself in the moment. You don't want to leave the moment. And then you simply breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Again, trying to control it for longer and longer and longer periods of time. And again, at the very least, you're going to discover that this helps you manage pain and it helps you manage stress. In fact, I can tell you that there have been occasions, for example, in 2000, I had sinusoidal, sinusoidal surgery. And at one point, you know, they stick these things into your sinuses, basically a, a rod with a light on the end of it. And that's no fun. What they usually do is anesthetize it with cocaine. However, in my case, I had had so many of these things that I said, screw it, I don't want to spend the time, just do your thing. And so I did these breathing techniques in order to calm myself and to avoid the pain of having that thing stuck in my nose. It is very, very good for that. Once again, laying on the ground, comfortable, having your legs up so that you don't have anything to worry about in terms of your comfort. Lay down hands, palms up. And then again, <clears throat> breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. And again, if you want to vocalize it, you can.
So ultimately, my young Padawans, that's how you breathe. In through your nose, out through your mouth, and you do this on the floor until you're getting very good at it. And then you start standing up and you do it in everyday life. And I will have a lesson very soon about how you can apply that. And so, my young Padawans, I must leave you with this. Always know where your towel is. Ultimate power in this world has always been one simple thing, the control and manipulation of minds.